What is up guys? Welcome back to my reaction channel. It's your boy Chris and today we're gonna be reacting to insane Russian super burst gun firing up 10,000 rounds per minute by military update. Y'all know it is guys. This video was suggested to me before when I release a video similar to this one but that video doesn't have explanation to it so I couldn't really understand anything that that much you know what I'm saying so yeah anyways if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button now and make sure to hit the bell button for post notifications if you have any suggestions comment down below and make sure to like the video as well that being said let's get into the intro <laughs> Yo, it's still amazing if you see this one, you know. Yo, this one was uh in the last video that I've watched before. Yeah. Here's the Russian military mysterious weapon can beat the US military, insane Russian gun firing off 10,000 rounds per minute, sounds like a damn A-10 war tog. The United oh. States Navy, has some impressive weaponry in their navy, but, they aren't the only ones dressed to impress. The Russian Navy, has a few nasty tricks up their sleeves when it comes to naval combat. One okay. of the most lethal weapons, in their navy's arsenal is the Kashtan CIWS combat module. Russia's aircraft carrier. The Admiral Kuznetsov and their Kirov. Oh, finally, bro, an explanation. An explanation to what gun it is, what what type of weapon system it is. An explanation. That's that's what I need in the last video. Finally, we got one. Off class battle cruisers are all armed with Kashtan CIWS weapon systems. These advanced combat modules are able to fire off over 10,000 rounds per minute as approaching targets. The Admiral Kuznetsov may be an old carrier but is does have eight Kashtan CIWS modules oh, installed shit, on board bro. for protection. Talking about this thing only does so much, but seeing it in action will do it justice. Check out this video of the Kashtan CIWS on the high seas and witness its destructive firepower. Damn. Okay, C CAWS is a weapon system, anti-aircraft and anti-missile type of weapon system, you know. So yeah, for those who don't know though, I mean I'm explaining things. What do you get when you combine the hard-hitting close and punch of the AK-630 mm cannon with the long range and agility of a guided missile and then multiply it by two? The mother of all CIWS systems. The oh, Kashtan is one large and destructive beast. It packs a pair of 30mm cannons and features no less than 8 short range radio guided 9M311 surface to air missiles in a hulking swiveling turret. As many as 8 turrets, all of which feature their own. Boss. Okay, I don't know the exact numbers, exact stats of CIWS. American CAWS, you know, their weapon system, but the way he presented it, the military update presented it, seems very impressive, you know. It seems that it can go toe to toe with American Navy. On scanning and tracking radar systems, as well as electro optical and infrared sensors, can be tied to a central okay. fire control system, which can be further integrated into a ship's overall combat system, as is the case with Russia's only aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. Such Wait, a system Russian amounts to an ability to put so many rounds and so many missiles in the air in rapid succession that it would be next to impossible for something hostile trying to make its way toward the ship to survive. Literally death by ridiculously overwhelming firepower. <laughs> Kashtan is really the kitchen sink and then some method to protecting the innermost realm of a surface combatant's defensive perimeter. So basically its they missiles only, uh, can be used to initially engage hostile targets, one the cannons are carrier. there for any surviving missiles, and or aircraft that leak through. The system is, 
so a lot of weapons that in it. it actually features a lower missile magazine with up to 32 additional 9M311s that can be automatically loaded onto the Kashtan's launching arm should the first eight missiles, usually fired in salvos of two like the RM, not be enough. Also, since there is an electro-optical and infrared sighting system also embedded into the launcher, the guns can engage surface targets via a gunner sitting safely inside the ship's hull at the Kashtan's oh, fire control console. The Kashtan is really one hell of a CIWS package, albeit it is a much larger footprint than any of the Western plug-and-play close and weapon systems. It seems that the US may have missed the opportunity to build their own super CIWS, maybe one featuring the goalkeeper's big Asco 8 Avenger cannon, and an 11-round <laughs> pack of fire and forget oh, no. 116 rolling airframe missiles, all tied into a modular phalanx fire control unit. Wishful thinking aside, the Kashtan's heavy hitting, long range, redundant punch takes the cake for the world's most deadly CIWS. Russian media is reporting that the long awaited upgrade of the Kashtan, Chestnut, close in weapon system, CIWS, was testing in 2018. Oh, Trials shit. will start on a land range before moving to the sea aboard one of Russia's Project 1241 Malnyaya missile corvettes in the Black Sea. The country's new Project 22800 Karakur corvettes will be the first vessels to receive the system operationally once testing is complete. Panzer ME appears to be something of a mix between the potent Panzer S-1 land mobile self-propelled anti-aircraft artillery gun system and existing Kashtan CIWS installations found on many Russian-built naval vessels dating back to the Cold War. It uses a modified version of the Panzer one RS-2-1 E phased array radar system, as well as an electro-optical infrared targeting and identification system mounted above the radar. In a similar fashion as seen on many of its ground-based cousins, there is no early warning radar system directly attached to the Panzer M mount, like the RS-1 E1 mounted on many Panzer S1 vehicles. Okay. Instead, early warning will be provided by the ship's radar suite, and or by a similar detached early warning radar mounted elsewhere on the ship. The system's own radar can also provide early warning detection as well as fire control functions over a more limited sector of fire. Its main armament includes a naval version of the Panzer's 57E6E surface-to-air missile. This is an II stage missile that can hit targets, aircraft, cruise missiles, drones, from half a mile to 10 miles away, and from just a number of feet above the surface up to nearly 30,000 feet. These missiles are carried in four tubes, on each side of the turret, and like Ashton, twin rotating magazines below deck can reload each side four times over automatically within a matter of seconds. 32 missiles in total are carried Panzer ME, will also be able to fire the Hermes K surface-to-surface -surface missile. Presumably, these missiles would be outfitted on the Panzer ME, when the vessel is operating in littoral areas where small boat swarming attacks are possible, or when nearby shore oh, strikes. Speaking of missiles, though, I don't know if uh, if uh, any of the uh, United States... Nah, they clearly have that, you know, they clearly have those anti-missiles inside those aircraft carriers. You know what I'm saying? They, they wouldn't let anybody fire a missile on their aircraft carrier. That would be stupid. So yeah, I think there's a counter in this one. Are they, required. Will, they will have a counter. The Hermes K can be outfitted with a semi-active laser seeker so that near over the horizon targets can be hit precisely if a forward operating unit such a drone, aircraft, or special operations team is lasing the target with a laser designator. Because okay. of the system's unique twin magazine configuration, so the mix of both missiles could be carried it. operationally. Panzer ME's other primary armament includes a pair of very hard-hitting GSH 30K 6 barrel 30mm rotary cannons that can spew up to 6,000 rounds a minute each. This high volume of fire can be used to shatter incoming anti-ship missiles, aircraft, drones, or small boats. These are the same cannons found on Kashtan and they deviate from the land-based Panzer S-1 design, which uses the lower rate of fire, twin-barreled, 2A38 and 30mm cannons. The system can operate autonomously or it can be tied to a network of similar mounts scattered around the larger vessel. It can also be integrated into the ship's larger overall combat system. This flexibility allows the system to be fielded on everything from corvettes to frigates 
to destroyers oh, okay. to Kirov class battle cruisers. Russia's sole aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov, is currently undergoing a refit that will supposedly include installing Panzer ME in place of its eight existing Kashtan MCIWS systems, according to Rostec CEO Sergey Kamazov. Each Panzer ME mount can engage four targets simultaneously and will have a probability of kill three to four times greater than existing Kashtan M installations like Kashtan before it. The so Panzer M is it. unique okay. in that it integrates both a highly agile missile and a rapid firing CIWS gun system into a single package and features weapons redundancy on every mount. With a much needed refresh to its control interface, its sensors, and its missiles, Russia has executed on a fairly brilliant plan that will build on the Kashtan in a logical way while also using existing components to decrease costs and lower development and integration risk altogether. This new system will allow Russia to maintain credible kinetic CIWS defenses into the coming decades as the Panzer ME will also likely benefit to some degree from upgrades made on its land-based counterpart considering the new emphasis oh, being put on anti-ship okay. missile capabilities so by Russia's potential the foes namely the US and its Navy, allies investing you know in updated saying. CIWS definitely makes base. sense. Okay. Especially as Russia works to rebuild their hulking Cold War era Navy into a more agile and technologically advanced force. And of course the fact that the first operational units will be installed on Project 22800 Corvettes, one of Russia's ambitious naval projects that could lead to sales abroad, is also a sign that having a modern CIWS system is essential when it comes to realizing naval fighting ship export success. Although Russia is somewhat of a world leader in short-range air defense, short yeah. capabilities, the country is unlikely to be able to compete at least initially, with Western high power directed energy, laser, CIWS concepts that will be emerging in the coming decades. As a result, fielding the most capable and updated kinetic CIWS systems is likely to be an increasing focus for Russia's Navy going forward, and Panzer ME definitely delivers on that idea. The system is slated for operational use in the 2019 to 2020 time frame. Hmm. That's interesting. Guys, the sounds was gone again, you know what I'm saying? The sounds gone again. So yeah. With that said though. So guys, that is a uh, insane Russian super burst gun firing off 10,000 rounds per minute. Y'all know how it is guys, by military update, guys, I'm gonna remove US in the picture first because clearly despite Russian having only one US, one aircraft carrier, they're beeping up their aircraft, air, aircraft carrier, you know what I'm saying, they're beeping it up, but despite all of those upgrades and shit, United States have 20 aircraft carriers imagine it 20 aircraft carriers okay and they have a lot of privates they have a lot of stuff you know what i'm saying so yeah let's re let's remove the united states in the world in the future you know what i'm saying let's compare russian navy against chinese navy you know what i'm saying how would the russian navy fare against their chinese counterpart that's that's what i want to know you know what i'm saying because this time Chinese is beating up their its military, its navy, you know, it's building up uh it's building up aircraft carriers. Like uh three aircraft carriers right now, so yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Anyways, that's it guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for post notifications. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. With that being said, I'll see you guys soon.